So hello, so today I'm going to actually be doing a POV video of me solving an equation. So this should be pretty interesting. So the equation we're going to solve is 4 times 3 to the power of x plus, actually I'll do a minus here. Minus, uh, we'll go, let's go uh, 3x in this case is equal to... Let's go nine. Okay, so we're gonna be solving this. So how do we solve this? Well, the first thing is we need to know the W Lambert function. So the W Lambert function of A, e to the power of A and only with base E is equal to A. Okay, so that's the form we wanna get. So how do we get this to this? Well, it's gonna be some complicated algebra, but what I would do is first say four to the power three X equals nine plus 3x. And now what I would be doing right here is essentially um, dividing by 4. And what I would do, actually, what I would do is first just divide by 3x. So we're going to get 4 equals 9 plus 3x um, times 3 to the power of negative x. Okay, so that's actually ideal for us. And I should that full parenthesis. Okay, so now what do we do from here? Well, we want it to look like this. So it's kind of looking like it. We have a base, we have a, you know, x and negative x. Well, all we really need to do here is divide this entire expression by three. So I'm just going to write divided by three. And what I'm going to do is go up here. I'm going to rewrite it. So we're going to have four over three. That's pretty logical is equal to and then 9 divided by 3 is 3 plus x. And then we have 3 to the power of negative x. So now what do we do? Well, we want a negative x here. So all I'm going to do is just multiply this entire thing by negative 1. And when I do parentheses around the entire equation, it just means I'm multiplying this entire thing by that. So we get negative 4 over 3 is equal to negative 3 minus x times 3 to the power of negative x. Again, we have to distribute the negative 1 to everything in this parentheses. So that's good so far. So now what do we want to do? Well, let's just kind of go over here to write it. Okay, so um, we need to multiply this entire thing by, and again, I'm going to use that notation here, parentheses around the entire equation. We want a negative 3, so all we're going to have to do is do 3 to the power of negative 3 to add these. Our exponent rules go to the entire thing. So in this case, we get negative 4 over 3 times 3 to the power of negative 3. And you can simplify that. I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to do that at the end. So now we look here. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, simply now we're going to have negative 3 minus x is 3 to the power of negative x minus 3. Is that this? Well, sort of. It doesn't have base c, so we need to convert that to base c. So we need to say that 3 to the power of negative x minus 3 is equal to e to the power of ln of 3 to the power of negative x minus 3, uh, which is essential here because this is just e to the power of negative x minus 3 times ln 3. That's just our log rules. So again, once you have this step identified, you can kind of see what we're going to have to do. But we're essentially going to have negative 4, sorry, negative 4 over 3, 3 to the power of negative 3. And actually, I'll just simplify this right now with this step. It would be 3 to the power of 4 because we're doing 1 over 3 to the power of 3, power of 4. Um, is equal to, let's see here, negative 3 minus x, and then 3 to the power, or sorry, e, we're writing it with a base e now, negative x minus 3 times ln 3. Okay, now we need this to have an ln 3. Of course, we're just going to multiply by ln 3. So now what do we do? Well, let's just come over here, draw this symbol, which just means this becomes. And then we're going to have negative 4 uh, ln 3 over 3 to the power of 4 
is equal to negative 3 minus x, ln 3, and then e, negative x minus 3, ln 3. I know these are flip-flopped, but it's the same thing. I'm not going to rewrite it. You should know that. Now, what do we do? That's right, take the w of it. I know that went into that. It sucks. But um, now, what can we do? Well, I'm just going to say w of negative 4 ln 3 over 3 to the power 4 is equal to, and remember, based on our rule, we know that this will give us a. This is our a, right? This is our a. So we're going to have ln 3 times negative x minus 3. Okay, so perfect. Now what are we going to do? Well, right, divide by ln 3, and that's going to cancel this. So we're going to be left with w of negative 4 ln 3 over 3 to the power of 4. ln 3 equals negative x minus 3. I hope you can see where this is going to go because we're essentially going to basically put the x to this side. So I'm going to plus an x here, which is going to cancel that. And then I'm just going to minus. So I'm actually going to end up with my final solution being uh, negative 3 minus w of negative 4 ln 3. 3 to the power 4 over, oh gosh, let me erase that. It's hard to write at this lower level down on the board, but there you go. That is your solution. That is a real solution. Um, complex solutions, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a complex solution, but this is going to be a real solution. So this is all the math we've done. We So we started with... Uh, this entire thing, we use, we wanted to get this form, we did all this algebra and such to finally get to here, where if you look, basically we could take the entirety w of this to just leave us with this part, which, you know, got us to basic algebra to this, canceling the x, and we end up with this. Um, yeah, so you can verify that by plugging this entire thing in for x um, into your original expression, or you can just use, you know, Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha, it will give you the exact decimal approximation or decimal answer, and then you can confirm with Desmos that, hey, that x5 is going to give you this. Now, this actually can be generalized from this for any values, but... Yeah, it's good to know how to do this. Thanks for watching. That's the video.